We are the kind strangers. Woo. Woo. To get us started, could you please give us an object that you might find in your grandparents' home? Mothballs. Mothballs, thank you. And next, could you please give us an adjective that's a describing word? <laughs> Holy. And now, the kind strangers present the Holy Mothballs. Woo! Darn it. I look like I got all shot up. Oh my god, what are you doing in here, Shovel? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I had to use your mirror. Mine's broken from me looking at it. Well, there are plenty of mirrors in this house. No, I don't want to look at them because that's going to be an expensive day for you. Listen, I have told you, if you are going to show up unannounced, at least knock, bark. Anything. Uh, Mrs. Shirley, uh, you look pretty good without your clothes on. <laughs> if I might say so myself. Well, never you mind that. <laughs> well, I have to because I saw it. <laughs> I will never forget it now. You carry whiskey in your closet? Um, I do. Uh, I guess you're of drinking age? Yeah, I'm 16. <laughs> <laughs> Should have asked you that before I hired you to do odd errands and such for me and around the property. Don't worry. I drank this stuff before. <sighs> <laughs> you doing all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> well, uh, I think uh, it's moth season, and uh, as you can tell, I wasn't shot. <laughs> That's... Uh, <laughs> Part of what I have you here for, uh, I got these balls, and uh, <laughs> I need you to do something with them. Uh, trying to preserve all of my clothes from the riverboat days. Uh, never know when those may come in handy again. <laughs> I can't wait for riverboat days again. Well, again, uh, that's something we don't discuss, remember? Well, I lost my balls. My doctors can't find them, so I'll take these ones. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh, don't really know what you do with them, but make sure you get them in and out of everything. The hope chest, the closets, the armoires. Hell, I don't think it would hurt to put a few in the hayloft in the barn. Oh, you got it. <laughs> You're going to be proud of me. You just watch. There ain't going to be no moths by a week from now. <laughs> God, <laughs> the heat. <laughs> if it wasn't mod ball season, I'd say I was choking on my own spit. What? <laughs> it is mod ball season. Oh, I knew it. Oh. <laughs> Tell me, Lucifer. <laughs> What's the best cure for choking on your own spit? <laughs> but go, bitch, I don't know much about choking on one's own spit. I'll tell you one thing that I know, though, and that's clothes. Oh, my God. <coughs> tell me. Sometimes I regret taking you on as an apprentice, Gorovich. I'm pretty good. Shuffle, get out of here. I'm just putting balls everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he does it to keep away the moths. Oh my god. It is moth season, is it not? Gorovich, I need your help. Lucifer, I would be more than happy to help you in anything you would need assistance with. Well, good. Practice is not going well. Every day, my designs. It's like I can feel the patterns, but I can't get them to flow out of my fingers. I've lost my touch. Don't say that. Don't say that, Lucifer. You I used to spin my fabric on a river boat, but the river boat dried up. At the, rivers, the rivers 
dried up? Well, it sank because there wasn't any water. It sank to the bottom of the dry river bed, and with it, my dreams. Lucifer, I'm not sure a boat can sink if there's no water around it. Well, if the water level goes down, then where do you find the boat? <laughs> on the river bed. That's technically sunk. It's just on the ground now. <laughs> Nonetheless, <laughs> I find myself stuck in this ho-dunk town with only one way out. The words. Why did you lick your lips? Why do you always lick your lips? It reminds me of the river, Grigorovich. Uh, not to do that again. I hate moisture. I will tell you. What's your one way out? The Widow Shirley's fortune. Oh, I thought it was going to be death. Oh. <laughs> I contemplated death. <laughs> You've contemplated death, Gregorovich? Not of me, of course. My wife. Oh, yes. Tisabella. <laughs> <laughs> A beautiful name for such an ugly woman. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you are dissatisfied with your marital accoutrements? <laughs> yes. I wouldn't know. I swore off love when the river dried up. <laughs> Shovel, what are you doing now? I'm collecting all the moths. <laughs> for a museum I'm going to make. That is going to be one museum that will not be opened. Some people say... <laughs> If you put them all together, it makes a giant mouth. <laughs> Why am I still holding on to a mothball? I don't know. Put it away. There's, we got important business to attend. What is it? To vet at this very time tomorrow, oh the widow God, Shirley. I'm sit down. The widow Shirley will be having her will signing, and I believe she means to leave it all to that idiot shovel. I suppose you want that money? I do. Then you better wine and dine her. I heard everything that you said. <laughs> Quick. Can you say it again, though? I don't remember all the details. I was about to have to end you, show. The same way that you want to with Tisabella. Oh, Tisabella, she looks really nice naked. My wife? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wasn't expecting anyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, Lucifer! Were you expecting me? <laughs> I wish I was. Please, won't you come in? <laughs> well, I would never come into a home without a gift. <laughs> Shalimar. That's right. I haven't... Shalimar, the nectar of the gods. I haven't worn this since... since we last met in Biloxi. <laughs> I was a different man then. I was a different woman. The river was flowing strong. Oh, it was flowing like a raging tide. <laughs> raging. <laughs> Are you hot in here? <laughs> well, it is getting on springtime now. Yes. <laughs> I often think about that river, the way that it could ebb and meander. <laughs> How you can't keep water out of no nook or no cranny. I'm getting the vapors. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Well, I'm... <laughs> hey, Joe! There you go. Why are you calling me? Oh, I was, just, I was just getting the moths off the curtain. <laughs> yeah, I well, I see that there was a lot of stuff around now. Yeah, I got it. That was all I made into a giant moth. Do me a favor. Go on down to the store and buy something to catch all them pesky lantern flies. He's licking your mouth. <laughs> As you were saying, As I was saying, sorry, shovels just got me all out of sorts. I know. That boy, oh, I hate him so. 
He reminds me. Don't say it. <laughs> he reminds me of the son I lost. Oh. <laughs> the one what hit his head in the river bed. And you were the only witness now, weren't you? I was. Aside from the holy God. And that was when I changed my name to Lucifer. Listen, I am. Because it, no. <laughs> I wish I could have done something, but you see, I I paid attention to boys, not the teacher, when I was in school. And if only I had paid more attention when we learned that whatever that thing is, where you help save someone when they can't breathe no more. Yes, yeah, the kiss of life they call it. You mean to say you're in danger of needing a breath? I was going to say I might need a kiss of life. Mm. Um. <laughs> Listen, I don't know how to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Down the hall, to the right, to the left. Hold on, hold on, right. hold on. Say it again. Oh, just take the dumb waiter down. All right. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm a little preoccupied with uh, the reading of. Well, I'm sure you heard it's all over the paper. Yes. Um, my late husband's estate, our estate. Uh, I hope the will will be read. Uh, Tomorrow morning. Is this an invitation? Uh, well, uh, I mean, I don't have. I do hope, of course, that they find your husband. It seems not likely at this point. It's been some time, and. Uh... Oh, hey, what you doing down here, Mr. Garrison? Oh, shovel. <laughs> I was just trying to get some respite from this heat. <laughs> I thought the river would be the coolest place in town. Yeah. Well, it is sure is nice. I come down here sometimes. I feel like I belong in the river somehow, you know? Like a stone? Yeah. Sinking. Never resurfacing. Yeah. Sometimes I think of that, too. Wow. So we think a lot. I wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. I think we're pretty much the same person. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know much about my finances or anything, so I can't answer any of those questions. I'm sorry. I, oops, I hit a fish. Okay. <laughs> Shovel, I, I was here to sink in my own thoughts and stare at the river and get, get out of this heat. It's spring. Right, but I, but I find myself trusting you with words that are speaking out of my mouth. Yeah. Are you trying to hypnotize me? No, 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 no. I'm just speaking. You know, there's some sort of kinship you and I have, Shovel. Yeah. Like, I could tell you anything. You could tell me whatever you want. And you I'll keep tell everyone. And that's not, no, that was the yeah, exact opposite of what I was going to say, Shovel. You got it. If I tell you what, what, what do I have, just to clarify? What have you got? On you? No, don't tell anyone. I have a lot on you. No. I've heard everything you're going to do. Okay, all right. At the state. Yeah, okay, settle down, Shovel. Just settle down. When I tell you things, it's just between you and me. Yes. Do you want to shake on it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> good. That was tough. <laughs> the shaking? Now I feel good that I don't have to say anything to nobody because I've been telling everybody everything. <laughs> this isn't our first talk. <laughs> no, I know. I told everything before that is open. Okay. From here on now, nothing. <laughs> okay. Everything else has been exposed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't feel much like talking anymore, Shovel. <laughs> oh, no. Just let her rip. How do you, how do you get by on life? How are you so... Carefree. You know, because I'm just not that smart. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with it. Oh. Yeah. Shovel. Well, surely. I think that fish is talking. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
shovel that was me. Just oh. out here collecting some muscadine so I can make a spritzer to refresh everyone after the reading tomorrow. Muscadine the mushroom? Muscadine the wine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Maybe we are similar. <laughs> we are similar. Well, you keep making that a uh, drink? Well, it hasn't been pressed yet. <laughs> <laughs> we are alike. <laughs> uh, he wants to take your fortune. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Surely it's not like that. <laughs> Surely it's not. <laughs> Isn't it? No, no, I, I swear. I'm well, a... my god, maybe it explains how you've been avoiding me every time I run into you in town. Yeah, well, that, uh, that, yeah. Yeah? I, I, I'm, I'm not the one pining after your, your money. Oh. Really? It is a lot of money. You didn't send three people to my house under the guise of making sure I was okay after Harlan disappeared? <laughs> well, that seems like a normal thing to do. Oh. Are you okay? What do you think? Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I loved him anyway. You know you were the one that I wanted. I know. Can you just let me go on? I don't know how... First it was Golden Moon in Hattiesburg. Then it was the Silver Sun in Rolling Fork. Nothing I did made you miss me or care until I left the docks of Biloxi. <laughs> headed up the Mississippi <laughs> on my way to Springfield, Missouri. I'm here now, aren't I? <laughs> the damage is done. Take me back. I'm past my childbearing years. It doesn't matter, Shirley. Come on. Make those muscadines for me. I want those spritzes in my mouth. <laughs> you know what? I can't. No, I just can't. Why? Is there another man? Maybe. Who? I don't think you know him. Who? <laughs> He's new in town. <sighs> oh. Lucifer. <laughs> no, oh. I just came down to do my thinking walk. I didn't realize I'd find y'all here. Ethan? <laughs> just getting some night blooming jasmine to go with my muscadine spritzers for tomorrow. Oh, how delightful. <laughs> See you at Chuck's Dairy Bar, perhaps. Of course, of course. Well, uh, good evening. And, uh, good morning. Yes. <laughs> what was that about? Oh. <clears throat> nothing, nothing, Gregor, did you? Nothing. So I'm just composing myself. I... I don't know. I, I I feel different today. I feel better, better than I have in many years. I, I feel like a fire that's gone out because the water has quenched it, but it's found a way to burst forth to life again. No. <laughs> I go on with it. Before I turn you into a vest, perhaps you'd like to explain. I just have this feeling something's going on behind my back. And you're the cause of it. So you heard of that. I'm sorry, I was just Jesus. trying to I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Have you managed to find the only two trees to pop out from behind and I just dumb four miles? Just dumb love. It's all right. I'm sorry about that. I better not see you around Shirley. All right? Shirley? I thought you meant me and Tisabella. Can, can you help me get through here? <laughs> Here, here you go. All right. Thank you so much. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My wife? I ought to hit you back right now, but here, I deserve that one. I've been your business for too many years at this point. I quit. <laughs> All right, then. Run on off. See if you can provide for Tisabella. <clears throat> Set up. I put the the spritzes over there. And, uh, Thank you. 
do you this, think this is okay? I don't even know where to sit. I don't this know how does many not people make sense. Coming. None of this makes sense. You're right. Uh, like let's add a fourth chair. Um, it's like it's like a theater. I just don't want people to feel uncomfortable. I don't know why I'm the one who should be uncomfortable. It's my goddamn house. Sure. You're not supposed to cuss, especially on the day when we're reading something that someone died. I know. I'm sorry. All yeah. those mothballs are really getting to my head. I know. I think I overdid it. Didn't realize just how bad they actually smelled. Here's a spritzer. Oh. First, sounds like someone's tapping their foot outside. It's on the ground. Oh, yeah. Um, hold that. Thank you. <clears throat> You know, I've been doing some thinking. What's that? I said, why is it that they call you Shirley? <laughs> Perhaps it's because Shirley is the first two syllables of the poem that Dante wrote to his late wife, expounding upon her beauty <laughs> and likening it to that of a newborn calf. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you could catch my meaning. <clears throat> I'm certainly do. <laughs> do you know most chairs are made from oak? <laughs> <laughs> no, Shovel, I, I didn't. Thank you for the knowledge. What is this? Get off me! Get off me! <clears throat> you found the two trees? <laughs> yeah, I'm here for the will reading. Or whatever that might entail. It's a will reading. You just read the will, you find out what you get. How are you not the idiot in this scenario? Why is it me, huh? Well, look at yourself. You're yeah. stumbling all over yourself. You got a drool on yourself. I think that's mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I had a hot dog earlier. And yeah, clearly <laughs> a fifth of whiskey at Galette's. Well, I'm here, Anna. Were you invited, Grigorovich? I don't know. Was I? And we don't take good this. <laughs> More than anything you see here. But you couldn't be bothered. Excuse me. Too worried about what the people in town thought. What your mother's dying wish was. Because I wasn't good enough stock for you. This is not oak. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. Just read the will. Read the will, then. Read the will. I'm sorry, I've never done anything like this before. Yeah, we'll read it, and then we'll get it. <laughs> I, Harlan Tucker, of sound mind and body, do bequeath My entire estate. Oh, please, I've never won anything in my life. <laughs> <laughs> to shovel. Yeah! <laughs> 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 